In Zambia, small livestock production has been increasing steadily in the past five years and plays a pivotal role in alleviating poverty among small-scale farmers. Small scale livestock production in Zambia is, however, threatened by outbreaks of Peste des Petites Ruminants, PPR, in Angola, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Tanzania, which share common borders with Zambia. Lack of effective cross-border livestock movement control between these neighboring countries and Zambia increases the risk of incursion of PPR into Zambia. We do surveillance, uh, that is surveillance for the disease. Uh, surveillance, I mean that we, uh, we will go out in the field, uh, examine the goats, uh, the sheep, uh, to enable us to detect disease in an event that you have this problem. And the other thing we do also is we do awareness campaigns um, through the extension meetings we have with our livestock farmers so that they are made aware of the dangers of the disease and how best they can avoid the disease coming into our district and our country. Peste Petit Desrumina, PPR, is a transboundary contagious disease of small ruminants. PPR is a fatal disease in goats and sheep, characterized by mortality rates of up to 100% in severe outbreaks. PPR actually is a, a contagious disease of uh, goats and sheep. Normally it is uh, characterized by uh, high fever, sores in the mouth, pneumonia, then diarrhea, and eventually it results into death. This disease actually it's one of the important tards because once it comes into a country, it causes a lot of um, economic losses, especially to the economic poor, the rural poor uh, communities. Zambia is the gateway to other Southern African development communities, Sadiq countries, and an incursion into the country would risk multiple incursions into other Sadiq countries. If the disease was allowed to spread into the whole of the 15 nation Sadiq area, it could potentially devastate the livelihoods and food security of millions of vulnerable small scale farmers and agro pastoralists. Wonfia kukuliomu nani, elo no kushitisha, pela wana kuya kuskulu, elo no kutentu wanika ne, uku wonfia umulimo, hawa ngafilishe milimo, antu neka tetinkumani shoku kusha maekas na nguteni. Against this background, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has helped Zambia, Mozambique and Malawi in PPR disease preparedness through capacity building for surveillance and control. A total number of 13 laboratory staff in Zambia from high-risk areas were trained in both theory and practical concepts related to PPR, including rapid diagnosis and control. Furthermore, the trained field staff have been instrumental in the sensitizing of small ruminant farmers in PPR high-risk districts. When we talk about disease control, the most important thing is you must have an early warning system. You must be able to detect the disease immediately it comes into the country before it blows out of proportion, you would be able to contain it. We have been given funds to train laboratory staff so that we do surveillance just to detect and be able to tell at the earliest possible sign that the situation is like this so that we can move in quickly to contain it before it spreads. We have staff from the institute itself and we also have staff from the high-risk districts so that in case of an outbreak, 
those people that are in the forefront, in the high-risk district, would be able to continue the work that is being done, or we can diversify. Because sometimes we might need to move a few equipment to certain labs so that the tests are done in the outbreak area. So since we have some staff that are trained in those areas, it will be very easy. With these interventions, it is possible to prevent incursions of PPR into Zambia and indeed thwart any possible incursions into the rest of the Sadiq region.